In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to create environment file and how to add the configurations into the environment file. And also we are going to see how to use the configuration data in the Playwright test. So before we get started with the spec file creation, so you need to install one package called .env. So simply you can open the command prompt and you, and you can enter the npm space install space .env and space hyphen hyphen save. So once you execute this particular command, this will install you the .env package into your Playwright automation framework. So once the installation is done, so you can see here one package is looking for funding. So it is already added the one package. Maybe if somebody is interested, they can give the funding to work on this particular package. So if you see here guys, already one package is added. And once the, once the installation is completed like this, you can go to the VS code and open the package.json file. And if you see here in the line number 14, dependencies part, so there is a one package got added, right? So whatever the installation we have done, so that package is added over here. So once the installation is completed, you will be seeing the this particular package name and respective version over here in this dependencies. That's it guys. So this is how you can install the .env into the Playwright automation framework. Now let's quickly create a one spec file. So here I'm creating a one spec file called read env file dot spec dot js. So that's it. So here I will go to the one of the test and simply I will take the copy of this test and I'll paste it here. And here I will delete the all the stuffs which are not required for us. And then I will update the test name as read env file in Playwright. So that's it guys. Now let's look at the manual scenario and we will automate that particular scenario. Then we will create the .env file and we will add all the configuration in that env file. Then we'll see how to read the env file in Playwright. So let's discuss the manual scenario first. So firstly, I will open the google.com. Once we enter this URL, we will inspect the search text box here and we will enter something here and then we will press the enter from the keyboard. That's it guys. So simply I will take the URL and I will go to the VS code. So here I'm using the await followed by page dot go to and simply I'm adding the URL here. So once we open the browser, so it will navigate to the this particular URL. Now we have to inspect the search keyword. So here I'll say search with keywords. So let's inspect the search text box here. So there are multiple attributes and values over here. So I'm using the ID value. I'll take the ID and here I'll press hash and the value. So I have written a simple CSS selector by using the ID, I'm identifying the element. So we have identified the search text box. And here I'm using the await keyword followed by page object dot. So here I'll say locator and inside the locator, I will add the CSS selector value. Then firstly, I will click on that particular text box. Then I will use the same locator and then I will enter the data into the text box by using the fill function. So here I'll say playwright by testers talk. That's it. So once we enter the search keywords, so we will press the Let's enter the playwright by tester stock. So once we got the results here, right? So we to get the results here, we have to click on this search icon or we have to press the enter from the keyboard. So we will press the enter from the keyboard. So I will use the same locator. And after that, so simply I'm calling the one function called press. And inside this, I'm passing the value as enter. 
that's it guys so let's wait for some time once we perform all the actions so here i'm saying wait for timeout so you can give any number of milliseconds here that's it guys so let's verify this test is working fine or not then we will quickly create the env file inside the playwright automation framework and then we will see how to read the env file and if you see here guys so we are able to search with playwright by tester stock in the google search page right and our test is working fine right that's it guys now what i will do is inside this our project i am going to create a one file called dot env that's it guys so i have opened the file so here i'm adding the configurations you can add any configuration say for example i'm adding the first configuration as environment so here you can add the respective value and let's add the url here and we can add the respective value we can add other fields also username so i will enter something some data over here and i will enter the key as password so we can pass the some password value here and so let's pass the url here so in our case if you read if you see the our spec file so we have the url right so we will read this particular url from the environment file so simply i will cut this particular url and i'll paste it inside the env file that's it guys so right now as of now we are reading only this url and also we'll try to read the username and password but we are not using these values anywhere in the web application but i will show you how to read the other fields data as well just by using the key that's it guys so i will go back to the spec file and here we have to enter the url right so you can simply use the process dot env dot so simply you need to enter the key name here so that it pulls the respective data from the dot env file so in our case i want to read this url so that's the reason simply i will pass the url as the key here that's it guys so we are done with reading the data from the dot env file from the playwright so once you save the both the files now let's try to run the test and later we will read the username value and password value from the dot env file see guys we are getting some error so it is saying that page expected string but got undefined so we are getting this particular error so we are missing one thing so what you need to do is so simply you need to go to the playwright dot config file right so here so you need to enable one line of code here in this configuration file so that is the line number eight so make sure that if this line is not there simply you can add the required inside the required specify the dot env and then dot configurations so by default this line will be com commented in your configuration file and if it is not there make sure that you are adding this line and once you have added this particular line so this time we should be able to read the configuration data in the playwright test and if you see here guys so test launched the browser and it has entered the url as a google.com so previous, previously it was not able to get the url because we have not enabled to read the data from the env configuration file and if you see here guys our test is perfectly working fine right so there are no issues at all now let's try to read the so here i'll say username and password so let's read the this username and password from the configuration file so here i'm writing simply console.log so here i'll say username is then simply i will use the process dot 
and here I will specify the username user underscore name so this is the key what we have used in the configuration file so let's read the password as well in the similar way so while you are working in the real-time projects so you can always specify the all these configurations in the dot env file so simply I'll pass the here password as the key so that's it guys now let's run this test so we should be able to pull the url username and password from the configuration file using playwright so our test is working perfectly fine so let's look at the output as well and if you see here guys so we are able to read the username and as well as password so this is how you can create the configurations in the playwright automation framework and this is how you can read it in the playwright automation test